Tony D with another trailer, and uh, this one's called Killer Sofa. Smash like, subscribe, subscribe on BitChute, check out Wokistan. Joan's just off camera here, and she's uh, sort of tired out after the previous trailer. Let's check out Killer Sofa. It's a comedy horror movie. I like the title. I have a delivery for Francesca Morton. <laughs> hey, there's, there's blood here. That recorder almost chucked my... All right, first I have to point out that that's not a sofa. It's an easy chair. So, big mistake. Uh, and a really stupid, stupid premise. So, kind of leaning to be out. You're really going to have to pull me in to... I, I don't know. My mate's finger off. You keep saying the recliner's possessed. I really don't know what's going on here. We need to find out where that recliner is. Tomorrow morning we'll call every delivery company in the city if we have to. <laughs> Whoever has that recliner is in great danger. Okay. This is really, really dumb. I don't know why they made this movie. <laughs> Although I gotta say, the lighting with the buttons as evil eyes is kind of creepy and funny. There's a killer out there. The thing is in great danger. That recliner she bought is possessed. Okay. Nah. That's not gonna work. I mean, 90 minutes of that? First off, you've kind of given away the whole movie by calling a killer sofa. And it's not a sofa. It's a recliner. Or an easy chair. Or whatever you want to call it. It's not a sofa. So, you know. <laughs> I, it, I mean, if it was a sofa... You could call it killer sofa. You, 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 I don't know why you would change it that way. Maybe in other countries that's a sofa. Uh, maybe it's a translation thing. I don't know. This was definitely a low-budget movie. So you could see how... I mean, if these guys got distribution, some some minor distribution, they, they finished a movie. I'll give them that. You finished a movie. Um, but come on. That's, you know, that's not scary. <laughs> Killer furniture is not scary. It's This is the kind of movie you talk about with your friends as like, did you see this movie, Killer Sofa? What, Killer Sofa? Yeah, it's a movie about a sofa that kills people, but it's really a recliner. And then, you know, you talk about it, but you don't actually want to watch the whole thing. You kind of zoom through it. You know, you could see that none of the actors in it are known. And um, that I didn't recognize any of them anyway. I'm not, I'm not disparaging their performances. I'm sure they're fine but you know it's just you can't really get scared about a piece of furniture and I realize it's a comedy too so I don't know you, you, you really have to play it to me you'd have to play up the comedy angle a lot more in that now there is a, 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 a comedy thing where you're, you're you take a ridiculous premise and then you're dead serious through the whole thing but we're talking a 90 minute movie that's really really difficult to sustain and and make funny at the same time when you do something like that you really need something else you need like a message in there that'll that'll push it forward uh some kind of satire that will sustain you throughout because the, if it, if it's a satire about something then you can watch it for the messaging and that's interesting too but there's not a lot of messaging in Killer Sofa. It seems, it seems a little lazy. You know, you could have said Killer, 
you know, chair, killer, killer car, killer beer mug, killer television. I mean, it, it all resonates about the same killer printer, killer paper clip, uh, you know, it doesn't really invoke much. If it was killer house, well, you got some places to go there. There are rooms, it could be an old house. If you say killer, even killer car, you, you know, they've done that. Pretty ridiculous. You know, you have Christine and you have, uh, what was it, Hell Car or something, I think it was called, uh, back in the 70s. You know, there are places to go there. Even killer TV, you can put stuff on the TV that's interesting. You can't really do much with a piece of furniture. I mean, it's like killer stick. I mean, it just, it's an inanimate object. It's not really meant to hurt you. If it was like a cursed item that could be hundreds of years old, like, I don't know, the cursed sword. See, that's more evocative. And it could be, you know, centuries of curse and all these people died who held the cursed sword or killer sword or whatever. But, you know, a sofa, that's modern. Everybody knows the sofa. So just doesn't work. If it's going to be a comedy horror, you have to have the horror part to make the comedy work. And here it's just ridiculousness. Sorry.